Welcome to Georgetown University Library's 18th Century Collections Online Basics Tutorial. After completing this tutorial, you will be able to understand the scope and nature of primary sources available in ECO and find primary sources in ECO using different search tools. ECO provides searchable full-text digital page images of works printed in Great Britain, America, and elsewhere in the 18th century. The collection includes books, pamphlets, essays, musical pieces, and more. The sources are primarily in English, but other languages are also found. To ensure your access to ECO, whether you are on campus or off campus, please start from the library's homepage, library.georgetown.edu. You will see the Databases tab right next to the Hoya Search tab. Type in ECO there. This will bring you to the library's A to Z Databases page where you can find access to ECO. Upon clicking the database title, you will be prompted to sign in. Please use your NetID and password to complete the login process. Now that we found our way to the advanced search page of ECO, let's take a look. I'm curious what kind of primary sources are available for my research about Didro. So I'm using Didro as my first keyword. Please note, capitalization does not matter when it comes to database searching. Before we move further, please pay attention to fuzzy search on the right. Fuzzy search looks for variants of your keyword or keywords. As we are not always aware of all the variants that are used in early books, this helps us discover relevant results we otherwise would miss. For this particular case, I'm going to select none for the fuzzy search setting as I know my keyword is personal name that does not have variants. Now let's click search to see what we'll find. There are a total of 819 results that contain my keyword Didro somewhere in the document. By default, they are sorted by author, but you can also sort them by title, publication date, and relevance as the drop-down menu on the right shows. I'm going to click the first one Lectures on Natural and Experimental Philosophy to take a closer look at an individual record. On the left-hand side panel, the page and image numbers show where the word Didro appears, so I can easily jump right to the relevant page or image. For example, upon clicking 578 under image number, I'm brought to the page where Didro is highlighted. You can also search a different keyword within this volume. If you are interested in finding out if or where philosophy is mentioned, search this work box will show you all the page and image numbers that contain the word philosophy on the left-hand side panel with a green highlight on the relevant page. Lastly, if you prefer browsing this book in a cleaner setting, Reading view will give you that option, as you see from these page images. This concludes our introduction to ECO. If you'd like additional information or have questions, please ask us at library.georgetown.edu slash ask dash us or email us at reference at georgetown.edu.